Okay, guys, check this out. I have this US Amps on the bench right now. This thing is a 100HC Ultra. It's a half ohm stable stereo amplifier. We're gonna run this at one ohm mono on the dyno and see what kind of power this thing will produce. I just finished a Tiffany RCA conversion on this guy right here. So the old one was broken off. We replaced this with the Tiffany style so it is serviceable from now on. Let's run a quick dyno test and see what this will produce. We've got 320 amp power supply, some lithium batteries, and let's run this through. Okay, let's fire this up and see what kind of numbers this thing will produce. All of this is connected together. We're running at one ohm now. Let's see what kind of power we can get. We'll notice here, we're going to look at this distortion light for certified, and we're going to look at this clipping light for clipping. So this is going to be uh, distortion free, and this is going to be at clipping. For all intents and purposes, for subwoofer amplifiers, you're gonna to want to use probably around the clipping mark because that's where the power is gonna be at. Let's go ahead and run this up to distortion right here and see what kind of power this thing makes at distortion. Okay, so creeping up at distortion, you see the clipping light come on right there, right behind it, We're around 1100 watts. Let's go ahead and run that again. Watching this distortion light. Okay, so right there at distortion, we made 1100 watts out of this 100 watt amplifier. And we're gonna run this up to clipping and see basically the most you're gonna get out of this right there. So 1154 watts. So basically this 100 watt cheater amplifier makes 1100 watts at one ohm bridged. Certainly pretty cool for this old technology, but it is nothing compared to say uh, one of these modern Chinglish amps or even some of these big dogs here. Really cool piece of the past, but you can see right here, that's a thousand watts, probably a thousand of the cleanest watts you've ever seen in your life. But that just goes to show how overbuilt some of these old amplifiers were.